last week I talked to Wilson about his time at driveline and working back from injury. Just what have you been seeing out of him so far and what's sticking out to you to keep him in the lineup? Uh, well, I mean, getting healthy helps out a lot because then you're able to participate and, um, you know, show show off your skills and uh, build trust. Uh, he always works his butt off uh, in the bullpen, receiving guys and working on blocking and throwing and everything. Um, but consistency with at, the at-bats, you know, you start seeing it in practice. Uh, in the fall, he did a tremendous job um, really putting the barrel to the baseball, uh, limiting whiff, um, driving it all over the field, showing some real power too. I mean, I remember one time he hit one 113 off the scoreboard, and oppo- you know, opposite field, which is very impressive. Um, but I felt like that was happening more and more uh, consistent than not. Um, and just made, made the most of his at-bats thus far. So he's doing a really good job. I mean, we're very fortunate. We have two really good catchers. Um, and, you know, I, at any point in time, those guys can be dangerous offensive weapons as well. So, um, you know, I, I think I'm in a – puts me in a good spot because um, I know that whoever's handling the job is going to do a really good job. But it also puts me in a tough spot because you got two really good guys and you, you want everyone to play. How are you? Ha- are you going to handle that moving forward? Is it riding the hot guy or giving spells here and there? Or? I think it just uh, depends. Paying attention to what I see. Uh, uh, you know, some guys handle uh, certain pitchers a little bit better than others. Um, obviously, uh, Tanner's ability to receive the ball down in the zone is tremendous. Um, you know, his uh, they're both you know very calm and cool during the game, uh, and don't get overly emotional or anything. So you could trust that they're going to you know stay consistent with that. Um, you know, Weber uh, has shown a lot with his bat right now with runners in scoring position. Um, you know, I think that just it gives us something more to, to look forward to on a given day. Hey, this is what we're going to work with when we're getting together with Tanner. Hey, this is what we're going to work with when we're with uh, Webby. Um, and keep just finding those uh, little things that we need to improve on. But um, it's tough, tough part to be a student athlete and never know, like, am I for sure going to there or not? But I guess that's part of the chaos that we have to get accustomed to is just be ready for your moment and you may be starting but it may be for five innings right this goes for any player not just um, the catching situation Um, it's if you're starting you do your best for as long as you're in there if you're coming out of the pen you throw the heck out of the baseball and tell uh, door i come take it from you um and so you know i just building some mental endurance there and i know what both guys really want to do they want to win and they're up for whatever is the best situation for that. Uh, that said, it can be difficult, uh, especially when you look at Tanner, who started the first month plus, and mm-hmm. then he's, he's where he's at. Uh, what if, I guess just evaluate how they're handling that. They seem to be pretty good friends, and they seem to be balancing it, it, it pretty well. Yeah, everything I can tell, they're still, still getting all their work in. You know, yesterday, getting out, getting some early work in. Um, you know, they play catch together every day. They do their defensive work together every day. Uh, it's part of being a catcher is saying no different than any other team I've ever been on. Um, not many people put on the gear and have to s- squat down and catch everybody and block baseballs off your chest, your forearms, your neck sometimes if you're really having a rough day. Um, and so there's a bond that's made from that. Um, so you got to be in each other's corner. Uh, when one guy's playing, the other guy is, you know, engaged and uh, trying to help out. Shoot the other day uh, when Tanner came out of the game. He takes the earpiece off and he's over there, you know, putting the stuff on on Webby's gear. Yeah. Or if a guy's starting on a given day, the other guy will jump down and catch the bullpens and make sure that you know he's as fresh as possible for that day. So um, again, when you have, when you think less of yourself, and then uh, I, I guess in the, am I okay? These guys both work their butt off, and they both know they're in a good spot, and so they don't have to worry about themselves as much. They can focus on the guy next to them and helping them, which huge part of catching focus on the guy on the mound those around you yeah what's the latest with uh, Micah where's he at in his returns he's gonna be out this Should weekend be or? Here soon. no he was here oh he's out yeah I saw he's him. behind me doing meditation he's actually lur- lurking right behind you right now <laughs> <laughs> he is quick so he can sneak up on <laughs> you real fast um, uh, you know just uh, gradual improvements uh, starting to swing all the stuff that we were doing over in the weight room rotational stuff everything's looking really good he's moving the weight really well um, and so then it just becomes a gradual progression um, with the bat and making sure he's feeling good so um, uh, you, again 
starting off slow, mm -hmm. you know, T work flips and then moving into um, this controlled coach pitch BP, pumping up the machine a little bit yeah. and then letting it fly. But, uh, you know, sometimes even for that, you don't necessarily need to be back feeling 100%. He doesn't need to hit homers or anything like that. He has such good hand eye coordination. He could push the ball over the field and get on first mm -hmm. over and over and over. I mean, he was hitting what, 460. Um, you know, throughout um, you know this half of the season, and it's just confident um, athleticism. He's done it a million times, and even get you know it's good when a guy starts teaching other guys and walking them through the steps. That just says that they feel comfortable in their own skin. They're in a good place, just like I was talking about with the the catchers, um, and he's you know chiming in and helping out with other guys. We talked to Callaway as well. How have you seen him sort of handle the situation? It seems like his usual lively self. Yeah, I'd expect nothing different. I mean, even right after uh, he broke his finger, it was, I'm good. Like, let's, what do you need me to do? Um, you know, he's out here getting some sun yesterday. Um, you know, just big smile on his face. Obviously, when we start stretch, we tell him put a shirt back on and be a part of it with everybody else. Uh, but he's in a, he's in a good headspace. Um, he's obviously eager to get back, um, but on, he, he's another guy who doesn't really talk about himself. He's just focused on the other guys and um, smiling, you know, showing he shows up to everything. I, have, I haven't had to reprimand him for anything, whether it's school or breakfast or weights or he just he's, he's going to give it everything he has. And right now he's doing a good job keeping um, a positive attitude about it. You might want to get on him about his typing. It sounds like he's a one-handed typer, and I don't even know what that means. A hunt and peck guy, yeah. Just like this guy. Well, he's got one hand right now. <laughs> he's a child, though. How do children do that? It's like an old man thing, you know, before they had computers. He's like a 20-year-old it... freshman. He's a child. <laughs> when you're old, he's like a child. You're a child. Is, that, is this why every time you write an article, you have to use the voice to text, or is that how you do it, or is it? Yeah. What's a computer? I'm What's writing an article next week. I'm going to put it out, but it's going to take me a week to type it up. Okay, well. Uh, with Micah, speaking of writing articles, sort of need to indicate what his status is. Is, this, is he doubtful? Is he available? Is it TBD at this point for the weekend? I would say, uh, I would say probably not this weekend. Okay. Um, that, it, that would be, that would be my best guess. Okay. I would say just to be safe. I'm kind of uh, very hopeful for next weekend. That's okay. where I'm sitting on it. But I do like happy surprises. So mm -hmm. if that comes to a point where we get to uh, bring him, get him involved this weekend, that'll make me smile. I think it'll make a lot of guys smile. Brady said he was hopeful for this weekend. Is that pinch hit? Pinch hit this pinch weekend. Hit pinch this. Hit. Oh, he doesn't want to run. Well. He doesn't want to go field. <laughs> Everyone wants to hit. Oh, you got to be able to go defend, too. Uh, I think he was planting the seed of just sneaking in early, getting at bats early. Oh, and that, that was my I'm on first situation. now. Someone run for me, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I do know he's um, been feeling really good rotating, um, you know, in the box. Uh, obviously, just working on his run progression as well. He looked good when I... Looked across the field, him doing his stuff yesterday. Not that he's going 100% by any means. I think we're making sure he's not yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a feeling he and many others are going to be um, knocking on my door telling me that he needs to play. It's go time. Yeah. I think, I think yesterday it was four hours. I don't think I got the number right. But we've talked about the it's defense four. before. Yeah, it was four. We've I remember that. defense a lot. Just sort of how... Are you viewing that right now, and how? It, what's the focus, I guess, in that department at this point? We got to keep going. I mean, other, you start to lose your mind and freak out. That just makes things worse. Makes people think about it even more. It's like, don't strike out. What are you going to do? You're going to strike out. <laughs> so let's do the other stuff that it takes, and that means uh, putting, you know, just a little more time and emphasis on why it's important. Catch play is extremely important. Uh, what one? Two of our four errors yesterday were off throwing. Picking the ball up under some uh, distress and throwing it away and then picking a guy off, right? Um, so we need to make sure we're doing more of that in our throwing program. If we spend 15 minutes for a throwing program every day, uh, it shouldn't just be to get loose or condition. There also has to be an element of uh, competing in that realm um, and playing accurate catch. You know, we should be able to play catch without busting any windows. And we're not needing screens. Support by now, so you're good. Yeah.
Um, and so it's, you know, I, I do believe like uh, talking to Joey, Joey's going to be um, putting together a practice plan for today and tomorrow as well. Um, you know, from time to time we'll delegate that kind of stuff out. Hey, what do you really want to see us work on? He takes pride. He's in charge of defense. And, um, you know, so we're going to make sure that we're allocating more time to it. We've been tracking more of our, our pregame defense during batting practice. What is our fielding percentage then? And how is that carrying over to the game? So we're tracking how many ground balls they're getting, where they're throwing, and how well they're succeeding in that. Um, you know, just in pregame. And that tells us a lot of if we're getting enough work, if we're getting quality work. So just I know analytics is great, but even the simple stuff like that, just plus or minus, tells a lot to the story. Some of it, too, is not an excuse, but, you know, Caraway being out and guys shuffling around a lot, there's just been a lot of, you know, kind of... It is. Mesa's... Uh, Guerra's gone from third, first, left, you know, but at the same time, I don't use that as, a, as an excuse, you know, um, because confidence being able like all of its fielding with one hand from left field to third base and first for the most part um and then if you take care of throwing program you should be able to just play catch wherever you're at uh yeah craig is uh came in as a, a third baseman we had him pitch a handful of times last year and now he's playing first base um i think sometimes we just put so much emphasis on wanting to do the job at a, at a high level that it, it creates this involuntary tension that usually makes us make mistakes so just clearing it out I think just the work is going to take care of that and anyone you've seen come here over the years like who they are as a freshman who they are as a junior or senior uh, it tends to evolve into someone a much better version of themselves and so um, yeah you know we've had guys like Dernetti at shortstop who is about as solid as it comes Gretler and Mikey Kane over at third last couple of years uh, Garrett Forster who's a tremendous defender right army uh, <laughs> Can't forget about Army. Yeah, that guy didn't go like three years without ever making any mistakes. Um, and so, you know, Hayline played a lot of third last year, moving over short. Just, uh, yeah, moving pieces. Uh, and so you want to feel that job security. But I think we just need to continue to make it tougher and put more emphasis on defense during practice. We all want to hit, but they all show up late at night in the cages. They show up early in the morning to hit. Um, don't forget that there's this big field behind us and you can take as many ground balls and fly balls as you want.